Hi everyone, welcome to my secret underground bunker. Um, I was going to do like a quite a nice sort of produced video or maybe go out for a walk in the country to make this video but I thought screw it, let's just do it now while it's in my head. And uh, I've done something really good recently, just um, giving up my mobile phone addiction. Um, I announced to everyone, all of my friends about and people with my phone that I probably don't even know as well, about I don't know, three weeks ago. I said, this is my new phone number, which by the way goes to this bad boy. I want to give up being a slave. Um, I don't want to be addicted to my phone. I don't want to be tracked by the government. I don't want to be tracked by Google, Apple, any of the big tech uh, conglomerates who are working with governments to track populations. Just don't want to be part of that system. Even if you don't think, or if you're not sure of that, that's happening that stuff's happening the tracking which to be honest if you don't think it is or you don't realize it is or you don't have a problem with it i'd urge you to um <laughs> to look into it but i'm guessing that you probably do if you're watching this video so i'm here to tell you switch into one of these and i'm not this is not an advert for cat this is just a the one i happen to buy which i don't buy this one by the way there's something it's not that great but anyway um it's, it's, it's dead easy the, the, the really difficult thing was the psychological challenge beforehand, beforehand, before you actually do it. Um, post sort of non-phoning, be good if I could think of a term for that, um, it's, it's, it's really easy. It's just an absolute, it's the best thing ever. And it's, and it's, it, it's, what, it's, it's everything you expect it will be um, or you hope it will be uh, prior to doing it. By which I mean far more relaxed, far calmer, not having meaningless conversations all day, not drawn to the screen constantly uh, to look at this, to look at that, to check emails, to check the price of whatever, you know, just constant hundreds or thousands of times a day checking it. Um, that's all gone. And the, the compulsion to do it, the addiction is all gone. It's brilliant. So... You just all you got to do is basically make plans. So what I what I my concerns were. Um, so there was group chat, uh, a couple of group chats that I was a, a part of on WhatsApp, and I thought mm, I need to. This is the how your brain tricks yourself. You think I need to be a part of that. You don't need to be a part of it at all. If you need to speak to someone, you can call them, or they can call you. It's really easy. <laughs> once you um, once you give up the addiction, the smartphone addiction, you realise how little you need to actually, or how few of the previous conversations um, and interactions you were having were actually in any way benefiting your life. Um, it's great. So yeah, my, my concerns anyway were, um, that was one of them, proved to be sort of irrelevant. I can still do everything that I could, I could and used to do on those group chats by email and then things are much more considered as well so when you write something it's not just some bullshit that you think of and oh this is funny or this is a thought that just popped into my head and you know to, to do an email it's always a much more considered so you get much better quality of information back and forth um, so that wasn't an issue that was just a fear um, my other thing was the notes, because I used to be a, a, a sort of savage note taker. Um, well, I always have been throughout my life. Um, so I found a cure for the, the note problem, and it's called a notepad. And uh, brilliant. And uh, the other, another great benefit, it teaches you to write again, because you're probably not aware of this, but you've, you've forgotten how to write if you're a smartphone user. Uh, <laughs> well, at least I did. So I'm guessing that most people watching this probably have as well. And you forget how to spell. And it really, I'll tell you what, writing really helps your spelling. As crazy as that sounds. When you get used to typing everything, you forget how to spell. And if, you know, you don't, if you don't need to know how to spell, okay. Yeah, my other thing was the, the photography. So I've got a, a little girl and, um, you know, I used to take thousands of, tens of thousands probably of pictures of, of her. Um, well, let's say I used to take, I don't know, 500 pictures a month for something on videos. Well, I found a solution to that as well. It's called a camera. And um, this particular camera, I did a bit of research on this. Uh, this is a G9X, Canon G9X. And I'll tell you what, this takes much better photos than, um, than any smartphone. 
Um, I don't know if you're going to get a load of nerds trying to dispute that. I don't care. You know, I've seen the photos that thing takes. I've seen the photos that you know Samsung S10s and iPhone X11 or whatever they are take. That is far far better. Um, I've got DSLRs, so I'm not a photography expert, but I know what a good photo is, and that takes good ones. Uh, and it's a lot cheaper than a smartphone. I bought that second hand, bought this thing second hand on eBay. I think it was like, um, I don't know, 250 quid or something. But you know, its resale value is also 250 quid, or whatever I paid for it, um, because it's a, a good quality camera, and that, that's something I can see keeping for years, unlike a smartphone. Um, what was the other thing I was concerned about? There were so there's notes, pictures, um, constant communication via um, WhatsApp. Was there anything else? There was uh, Satnav. I was worried that that was it, Satnav. So I was concerned that um, how the hell am I going to find my way around without Waze or Google Maps? Well, I'll tell you what. If you've got any friends. For a start, the first thing is you're very rarely without, uh, not around someone that's got a smartphone anyway. So you can always, if you need, if you need it, you can always use theirs. Or ever thought of this? Ask a stranger for directions. I know they're going to think you're completely <laughs> weird, but regardless, um, you might even start some interesting conversations if you want to do that, or meet some interesting people. Um, and, I said, and the great thing is I love driving. Anybody that knows me knows that just the real passion of my life is, is, is motor racing and, and driving. So I, I love driving. You're just not aware of what a complete imbecile sat-navs turn you into. Um, so I've been places, as I mentioned, I've got a little four-year-old, and we've been to this particular place, like a, a really nice woodland place, probably 50 times, something like that, since she was born. 50 times, I'd say, oh, I don't know how to get there. Because <laughs> every time, I've stuck it on the sat-nav. And it's not even that far away, it's probably like 20, 20 miles or something from my house, uh, 25 miles. <laughs> I don't know how to get there. It's, it's, you just don't realize what these things are doing to your brain. They're, 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 they're substituting all of these processes that always used to occur in our brains, are being substituted in the processing power of the smartphones. Um, of course, that could be a good thing because if you've got the world's information at your fingertips, that's great. But let me let you into a little secret. You've still got that. You don't need a smartphone to have the internet. Computers, iPads, or Samsung pads, whatever they are, you know, all of this stuff, it doesn't sort of delete your brain power, it kind of enhances it. Um, whereas smartphones are like, they're, they're trying to suck. Well, I don't know if they're trying to, but the result is, I'm still gonna learn to use this thing. This is a um, gimbal, D DJI gimbal, very good. Um, but the operator's a bit rubbish. Um, yeah, you know, like the, the smartphone, it just, it rips it out of you. It just rips out your soul. You know, and uh, I'm here to tell you, this is my new phone. I'm going to actually change this because it doesn't do predictive text. So to write hello, you'd have to like press about, you know, it'd be like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, kind of rather than, you know what I mean? It doesn't do predictive text. And on these, these types of phones, you do need predictive text. So I'm going to upgrade to the, I think this is the Cat B26. I'm going to upgrade to Cat B30 uh, or something, um, whatever the one that does predictive text is. Anyway, I know this has been a totally ram rambling video, but if you listen to what I've said and you actually do it, that's the key thing, that's the key thing I wanted to get across. You actually do it because it's the fear that stops you. You think, I'm not gonna be able to survive without a smartphone. I'm not gonna be able to do it. Um, I'm not gonna be able to live without sat-nav. I'm not gonna be able to live without um, this WhatsApp group that I'm in for, for this business and it won't be able to operate without it. It will, it will. You just go back to the old systems you used to use before these ones existed. And you know what, they're so much bloody better. And you're not kind of constantly drawn to this thing in your pocket or on the desk. It's, you, it's, life is so much better, I'm telling you, you've got to do it. And if you're worried about being tracked by the government and stuff, you have to do it, you have no option. 
Um, but trust me, it's, it's great. As long as you set it up properly. So make a list of all the fears that you have about giving up your smartphone. Really think about how can I overcome those fears so that, or those objections so that they're no longer fears or objections. Then, this is the key point, pull the trigger. Actually put that stuff in place Get the stuff you need. So in my example, order this camera, you know, go to a shop if you're still allowed in your um, communist dictatorship countries and uh, buy a notebook or if not, you know, buy it on, um, on the internet or whatever. Um, if you need to buy an a aftermarket sat nav for your car, buy it. Actually make the investment, do it beforehand, before giving up the smartphone. Then on the day that you're giving up, switch the thing off take the SIM card out, throw it in the bin, cancel your contract if necessary, or do, you know, if you want to transfer your number over to your new dumb phone, obviously do that in advance, that's on the list to do beforehand. Get it all done so that there's no resistor, there's no possible resistance on the day that you switch. You can't think, ah, oh, I forgot to do, I forgot that I need it for this or I need it for that. You've done all of that work in advance and trust me it doesn't take long to do the work it takes a little bit of thinking about but hopefully this video has helped you with that um but the actual work involved is is is, is very minor um it's going to massively improve your life if i'm wrong tell me but i think it will and if i'm right uh, i'd appreciate it if you tell me as well all right guys see you later